Hey everyone, welcome to another video by Simply Learn. Today's topic is pointers in C++. And in today's session, we will learn about what is a pointer, reference and dereference operator, then declaration and initialization of a pointer, then there is pointer arithmetic, and after that we'll go through pointers and functions, pointers and arrays, and at last we have arrays of pointers. So hello everyone. This is Harsh Bhardwaj and welcome to the video on pointers in C++. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So let's go to our first topic that is what is a pointer. A pointer can be defined as a variable that contains the address of another variable. It basically stores the memory address which means it points to an address of a particular value. And like a regular variable, pointers have a data type also. Now coming to reference and dereference operators. Reference operator or address of operator is defined as that operator which is used to get the address of the variable. It can be easily obtained by preceding the name of the variable with an ampersand sign. Now dereference operator. Dereference operator basically returns the content stored in the variable pointed by the specified pointer. For example, if we write asterisk a then it will return the value of variable pointed by a. Now let's see how to declare and initialize a pointer. To declare a pointer, first of all we will write the data type. After that we will write the name of the variable with an asterisk sign. For example, int asterisk sign a, float asterisk b, care asterisk c. Suppose if we want to store the address into a pointer, then we will write int that is the data type, then ptr that is the name of the pointer with an asterisk sign equals to a variable a with ampersand sign which means ptr will contain the address of the variable a. Now moving to a pointer arithmetic. C++ allows us to perform addition and subtraction operations on pointers. A pointer is basically an address that is it's a numeric value. Therefore, operations like addition, subtraction can easily be done on pointers. There are four types of arithmetic operations that can be used in pointers. That is increment operator, decrement operator, addition and subtraction. Each time a pointer is incremented by one, it points to the memory location of the next element. But if the pointer is an integer pointer, its value on PTR++ would increment by four bytes because of the size of int data type. For example, assume an integer pointer with current value of 10. Now after the increment its value would be 14 instead of 11 because int is of 4 bytes. Now let's learn about pointers and functions. Like a normal variable has an address, similarly every function has an address also. And we can easily access the function using its reference or address only if we know the address of the function. Function pointers are similar to that of normal pointers. When pointers are passed to the function, the address of actual arguments in the calling function is copied into the formal arguments of the called function. And this is the syntax for a declaration of function pointer. Here int is the return type and parentheses around function pointer tells the compiler that it is a pointer to function. And after this, they are argument lists. Now, Let's discuss pointers and arrays. Arrays and pointers are very closely related to each other and both of them are objects. When an array gets declared, the compiler assigns a continuous block of memory so that all the elements of an array can be stored in the memory. And C++ treats the name of the array as a pointer that contains the address of first element, which is known as base address. So basically, Array name is the base address of the array. And if we have to assign the address of first element of array in a variable x, then instead of writing x equal to ampersand array of 0, we can simply write the name of the array only. Now, moving to the last topic that is array of pointers. Like in array, we can store similar type of elements. It is same in case of array of pointers. But the only difference is, instead of storing the elements, the address of similar type of element is stored. In other words, it stores the pointers which point to the similar data type. And this is the syntax. 
first is data type then name of array with an asterisk sign then in the brackets it is the size of array now let's do some examples in our code editor that is vs code if getting your learning started is half the battle what if you could do that for free visit skill up by simply learn click on the link in the description to know more here we will do one example of pointer to understand reference and dereference operator we will print the values of variable and the address of that variable also and it will give us an idea about reference and dereference operator let's start first of all we'll make a new file and name this file as pointer1.cpp so first of all we will import the header file hash include io stream now we will include namespace standard after that we'll make int main and now we will declare a variable well and assign it a value let's say 105 now we will declare a pointer variable ptr now we will store the address of the variable well into the pointer variable so we will write ptr equals ampersand well now we'll display a message before printing well variable we'll display a message saying value is value of well is now let's see what is the value of ptr for that we will have to print ptr also and we'll write value of ptr is now we will print the pointer variable ptr also uh, although the value of val and ptr would be same but in order to check we will print that also so we'll write see out value of a specific ptr is now as we have printed variable val ptr and asterisk ptr so now let's check all these values let's first of all we'll write return 0 now let's check all these values here we can see value of variable val is 105 and the value of ptr is this this is actually the address and the value of pointer variable ptr is 105 as we know that the value of val and the pointer variable is same because we have assigned this value the address of variable val to ptr and then the dereference operator as we know returns the actual content of the variable so that is why the value of variable val gets printed when we print the pointer variable ptr and the address over here is the address of the val variable which we are assigning to the ptr so that is why this address is getting printed now we'll do another example let's name it pointer2.cpp now we'll include the header files
hash include IO stream after that using namespace standard so here we have an example of arithmetic operations in C++ so first of all we'll write int main now here we will take four variables and two pointers so let's do it int num1 comma num2 int sum equals 0 and int sub equals 0 we'll initialize it with 0 now we will declare the pointers ptr1 ptr2 so let's take input of the required variables num1 and num2 and after that we'll do some arithmetic operations on them so let's just write first we'll display a message enter two numbers enter two numbers Now we'll take the input. After this, we will store the address of num1 and num2 into ptr1 and ptr2 respectively. Let's do it. ptr1 ampersand num1 ptr2 ampersand num2 Now we will increment pointer ptr1 and ptr2. We'll do in a bracket and we'll use the reference operator also. ptr1 plus plus d reference operator ptr2 plus plus. Here we are using d reference operator because we want to increment the value only. And as we can see, we have used increment operator so by incrementing ptr1 and ptr2 the values of num1 and num2 will increment and after that we will print those values so let's do it before printing we'll just print a message after increment now we will print ptr1 and line now ptr2 now we will do the sum of these incremented values so we will write sum equals d reference operator ptr1 plus d reference operator ptr2 now we will simply print it we will write addition and we will print some variable which we have already initialized as 0 earlier and we will write end line So this will give us the sum of the incremented values of num1 and num2. Now let's talk about decrementing the value of pointers using decrement operator. Here by using this operator the value of the ptr1 and ptr2 gets decremented. So let's start. We write decrement ptr1 minus minus that is the decrement operator now ptr2 minus minus now we will write after decrement the values of ptr1 and ptr2 
So we'll display a message saying after decrement. Now we will print PTR1 and PTR2. This will display the values of PTR1 and PTR2 after decrement. And at last we will find the subtraction of 2. So we'll write sub decrement operator PTR1 minus decrement operator PTR2 and C out will display first subtraction. We'll write subtraction. Then we'll write the variable sub. Let's see how it before that. I think we forgot to mention the dereference operator while printing. We have to mention this because we want to print the values. Dereference operator. And let's put some space over here. Now let's try. Enter two numbers. So let's say we'll enter four and five. As you can see, we have entered 4 and 5. After increment, it becomes 5 and 6. And on addition, it becomes 11. After decrement, it becomes 4 and 5 again. Then 4 minus 5, that is equal to minus 1. So this is the right answer. And this is how it's done. This was the basic example of arithmetic operations in pointers. Now let's do another example. Name this file as pointer3.cpp. Now we will include the header files hash include iostream using namespace standard. Now we will write int main. Now we will do an example of pointer and arrays in which all we have to do is to print an array with the help of pointers. So let's start. First of all, we'll declare a pointer. Now we'll declare an array named RRAY. And let's add some elements inside it. Five, seventeen, sorry, twenty, seven, nine, four, six. I think these are seven elements. Now we will assign array ARR to pointer PTR. So we will write PTR equals ARR. After that, we'll run a loop from i equal to 0 to i less than 7 because we want to iterate array elements. So let's write for loop in i equals 0, i less than 7, i plus plus. Now we'll display using dereference operator with pointer because we want to display the values that is why we have used dereference operator now we'll do ptr plus plus we have used ptr plus plus because we want the pointer to move to the next position after each iteration and endl will help to print the output in the next line after each iteration so after this we'll write return 0 and let's try to run it I think there is some error yeah 
namespace now let's again try to run it hmm. instead of array we have used arr hope it works now here it is 27946 517 27946 so these are our array elements which we want to print so this is how we can print the array elements with the help of pointer so these were some basic examples of pointers in c++ all right with that we have come to the end of this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i hope it really helped you all Thanks for watching, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.